Hello sailors, I am Admiral Atlas, and welcome to Civilization V. Now, I know Civilization V is a bit out of date, because Civilization VI is up. I haven't gotten around to purchasing it, because I don't see the need to. It's uh, really similar to Civ V, and I don't even play Civ V that much to begin with. So, but I thought it would be interesting as a first series on this channel. Uh, because it's gonna be interesting, we're gonna do strategy games in order, like, sort of timeline. And Civilization V kind of transcends all of human history, so I can give you a little bit of a background on that as well. So, we can do single player. We're gonna set up a game. We're gonna do random leader, because I think that'll make it a bit more interesting. We're gonna go with Prince difficulty. Uh, I don't feel like doing hard or very hard or. Well, the normal difficulty is fine. Probably get some hate for that, but we'll do a standard map. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a random map type too. That should be interesting. Uh, we'll keep the standard though. Um, advanced setup. We want all of these, all of this stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see who we are gonna be. Oh, India. Greetings, President Gandhi. Great soldier. Interesting. Of India. I've actually never played. You are the India. ruler of one of the oldest countries in the world, so, with history stretching back almost ten thousand years. I don't know a how this is going to go. We India the is the birthplace of three of the world's court. great religions: Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Right. This is a passionate land of music. So apparently, we need to found less cities and focus on population growth. So, that's interesting. Consider uh, yeah, let's set these guys to explore, I guess. we we'll choose some production. we we'll do a scout. Uh, let's choose some research. Let's go ahead and do, since we got a quarry, let's do mining. That, so that way we can clear some of these forests, too. All right. So yeah, we're just gonna sort of play through this. Uh, I, I don't want it to be too long a series. I mean, so, but Gandhi and India are pretty interesting. Uh, one of my favorite civilizations actually is the Indus River Valley civilization. Uh, they just had really cool stuff. They had these cool seals that were used for trading. And the reason we knew that they were used for trading is because we didn't they didn't find them in India, they found them in Mesopotamia. Uh, which, if last time you've checked the map, uh, Mesopotamia is the Middle East, it's modern day Iraq. So, that's obviously pretty far away from India. Um, and that makes them pretty cool in my opinion. So we got some spearmen, so we'll just go ahead and send those guys back to Delhi, I guess, because we don't really want spearmen running around. Anyways, I didn't really want warriors running around, but that'll work just fine. And one more turn and our scout will be done. Thanks for the institute. Our Thanks capitals. Right. So now Only one autos. military unit can occupy a tile at a That'll that'll end. Uh, that. What do we want next? Do we want a worker or do we want a monument? Which is gonna give us some culture. We'll actually take that monument. I think we're gonna go for a cultural victory since we're playing India. Uh, not really gonna focus on military because again, the more cities we have, the more unhappy our populace becomes. So we do not want to expand too quickly. So I think we're gonna go for more of a cultural victory, Indian culture win, or maybe even scientific. I think we're gonna go culture though. So we'll go ahead and alert these guys. So they're just gonna hang out in Delhi for now. Yeah, the beginning game is kind of boring. It's just sort of sitting here, waiting for your turn. Alright, Barbarian Encampment discovered. Oh, that's not good. Let's go. Alright, let's see if we can't. So, we got some ruins. We got a Barbarian Encampment. We got two more citizens. Let's go ahead and get some spearmen. We'll go ahead and see if we can't take care of that Barbarian Encampment for the gold that you get when you defeat them. And plus, they're right next to Hanoi, which is a neat little city-state. 
Um, one more turn. Thanks for the. Thank you. Ruins explored. What would I like to research? Um, you know what? I think we're gonna go with archery just so we can get a ranged unit. Our one spearman should be enough for now. And the Temple of Artemis is actually pretty interesting. It'll give us more growth, which is actually something we could really use. Which is actually something we could really use. Again, our population unhappiness is half, which is. One of. Okay. Wow, this is bombarding us with information. All right. Now the Maya victory. So pretty interesting. Just all right. So yeah, it looks like barbarians. There's another encampment down there. So we'll go ahead and get some archers next turn. Actually, we won't, because we won't have an archery discovered. But... We may actually want to invest in a worker. Uh, now's a good time to do that. Okay. So, they're actually gonna surround us, so we're gonna... head this way, so if they decide to attack us, we'll be in number one, a better defensive position. Because they'll have to come down from the hill. Do that. Continue to bombard these guys from a distance. Uh, Tire is a bit scared of us. Why, Tire? Why? Uh, but that should be it. Okay, let's go ahead and see our victory progress. So, how many victories are there? There's only four. Cultural, which means you need more cultural influence. Okay. Let us continue on. Thanks for the... Cities. So these guys have been promoted, so they're fully healed now. And they're trying to encroach on our... Oh, and they're really close to dying. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. Let's just keep going, I guess. Yeah, this early game is a bit boring. It'll get a bit more exciting when we get to the... When we get to, you know, other civilizations and whatnot. But I think, for now, we're on a pretty small continent. We're obviously somewhere close to the north. Uh, wow, we're actually on, like, a little island. And that's kind of nice, having a little island to ourselves. Other than having to share, I hate sharing land. I mean, we still have to share land with these city states, but it's not as much as if there was like another civilization. Okay, so now we have a social policy. This is pretty interesting. So, piety and I believe rationalism. Uh, but we're gonna do tradition, which is gonna be a small focused empire. Because that's what we're doing. We're gonna try to be a cultural beacon. Alright, got some gold from ruins. Alright, so there we go. Choose some research. What research do we want next? I think we're actually gonna go with masonry. Mainly because we have a lot of stone and as well as some marble there, so that will help us a lot with gold uh, acquiring, <laughs> if you want to call it that. And there's a decisive victory. And... Oh man, that guy's. Ah, oh, so close. We'll get him next turn though. I hate when that happens too. When it says decisive victory and it's not a decisive victory. Now it definitely will be. Alright, so we took down those 
barbarians. Those bar 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 barbarians. I don't know. Our scouts died. That's not good. How many of these barbarians down here? Ah, we can always buy a scout. The city screen provides a detailed view of. Um, for now, we're gonna leave this on default focus, which is sort of a balanced focus. Uh, it'll try to be a jack of all trades city, and that's best for your capital city. Later. You can... Interesting. Okay, so we have met the Aztecs. Probably on the other side of that thing. I don't know. Oh, we ha our scouts didn't die, they were just over there. I'm dumb. Let's fortify these guys until they're healed. And let's just move on. So yeah, again. I was just want to Oh, another policy. So let's continue with... To... Aristocracy. Which should be pretty interesting. Get that extra happiness and that production value up, you know. Um, we can actually build the Temple of Artemis. We're not gonna build it, but we can. Well, actually, we might. Depends. I mean, we do have that production value, uh, production bonus for it. So we might actually build it. Who knows? This is a neat little island we got here. Right, we have so... no combat units defending our territory. So let's build a farm first. Let's pick some production. We'll build an archer. Um, for now, we'll just run away from these guys. I don't know, how did we not meet Hanoi before? I thought our scouts saw them. Oh well. Alright, so we're doing masonry now, which will help us a lot with this quarryness. <laughs> um, okay, so we're being surrounded. And that was a really good victory right there. The uh, spearmen are a lot better than uh, the brutes. Well, the brutes are generally just a big deal. We'll fortify, that'll give us a defense bonus. For this turn, and it'll heal us up a bit if they decide to attack us, which they did. See, we got a we got a defense bonus right there. They'll probably attack us again next turn. Okay, so this will be done in four turns, so it's gonna take a while. <laughs> but masonry will be complete by then. And in fact, our barbarian friends here are. Well, actually, we'll go ahead and just finish these guys off. Put them out of their misery. Alright, so let's pick some research. Open the technology tree. What do we want to do next? I think we want to get some boats, right? So, let's go and get pottery. Boats are really helpful for early game exploring. Uh, let's go ahead and move you back to our territory. Actually, we may want to invest in the wheel next. But we need animal husbandry for that. Okay, so we've ran out of stuff to explore. So, for now, we'll delete one of our scouts. We'll send the other one back. To our territory. Alright, yeah, I can see the island. We're on a little island, which is actually really nice. So it means we'll be pretty safe from attack for a little bit. But we're also really close. This is like the English channel of our game, I guess. We're the England of this particular civilization game. Uh, not really, because we're India. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, trespassing is Get out of your territory, Hanoi. Eh, it's not transparency. That's how Hanoians sound. Actually, that's not how they sound. 
uh, it's interesting that they put the minor, like, minor civilizations today, like Vietnam, which is Hanoi, which is where Hanoi is located, in the country of Vietnam. They put the minor civilizations in, uh, as city-states. I don't know where T-Ray is. You now have a range. Uh, so that's, that is a shortcoming on my part. Um, sorry. We should do a settler. Do we need another city now? We don't have that really to have the happiness for the city. Yeah, because usually we'd have three gems, so we're not going to do a city. We're going to do walls, which will help us a lot. Oligarchy. Actually, you know what? We're not. We're going to go ahead and invest in some culture. I don't really have any culture. We'll do Temple Artemis, I guess. And Oligarchy. And we'll continue to move these guys back slowly towards our city. Alright, so there's the Temple of Artemis right there. I like how the little things pop up too when you're constructing them and then the, when they're done they obviously are completed. Move that guy. And then fortify until healed. We'll move you there. So that way we can get some gold from that marble. Because we're a bit short on gold right now. Oh, we'll hit these guys. And then once these guys are healed, we'll go in and storm there. So the quarries can take a little bit, it's going to take 7 turns, so it's quite a bit. Probably take us into... Uh, Delhi has grown. Tiri seeks the Aztecs. They want you to find the lands of the Aztecs. Uh, we probably won't, so let's do animal husbandry. And we'll just move you there. And put you on alert for now. Range attack these guys. Get wrecked by my archers. My India is very famous for their archers. No, they're not. Um, but they're they're pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, we're, when uh, when do we get the war elephants? That's what I want to know. Ah, the wheel. And then when do we get the Mughal temple or whatever? I don't know. Oh, there's Japan. Interesting. Might have to look out for that Japan. The AI is really expansionist. So, they like to found a lot of cities. It's especially cities that are close to your territory. So we gotta look out for that. Alright, let's keep moving along. We're gonna take care of these barbarians here, these bar 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 barbarians. Interesting. The barbarians were called barbarians because to the Greeks, everyone who didn't speak Greek sounded like they were just saying bar 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 all over again. Over and over. So they called them barbarians. Just an interesting little factoid I thought I would throw out there. Alright, so we're super close to getting into the city, and we're really close to taking this barbarian encampment. Yep, they're running away, as I suspected. Ah, I don't care about what you have to say. Uh, I don't know why, I just... Is there, is there an option to turn these guys off? Hold up. Um... No advice, except... There we go. So, I think that should round up this week or this episode 
Uh, I think next time we'll probably expand somewhere up here into the north. So you have that to look forward to. Uh, but for now, I have been Admiral Atlas. And you have been you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video as well with your friends. Till next time, I've been Admiral Atlas.